Hi, we are very fond of roaming around the world. We gather various information and knowledge from around the world. We always want to share our experience with others. But some place at outskirts where there is nothing to keep connected with the world. The thing which is helping us to keep our network alive is internet. The internet helps us to remotely share our work with our office and networking while traveling from one place to other. Since we are using internet so frequently, let's explore more on this topic. Let's start with simple data communication. Computer Communication Before we begin with the data communication between computers, let us first see that what a computer is. What is a computer? A computer is a programmable machine that is used to perform various computations. It is also used to store data in it. The computer has a characteristic of responding to a specific set of instructions in a well-defined manner and it can execute a pre-recorded list of instructions called a program. The computers contain data in it. Data is a collection of facts such as values or measurements. It can be numbers, words, measurements, observations or even just descriptions of things. When we want to share the data between two or more computers called as data communication, it is required to form a network between them. The effectiveness of the data communication depends on three fundamental characteristics. Delivery. The system must deliver data to the correct destination. Accuracy. The system must deliver the altered and corrected data. Timeliness. The system must deliver the data in a timely manner. Data that is delivered late is useless. Now let's study different components of data communication. There are five components that are associated with the data communication. They are message, which is the data to be communicated. Sender, which is the device that sends the data message. Receiver is the device that receives the message. Transmission medium is the physical link by which a message travels. Protocols are the set of rules that governs data communication. Now let's see how to connect two or more devices. Two or more devices connect to a link and two or more links from a topology. The types of topologies are bus topology, star topology, ring topology, mesh topology. Let's see each one in detail. Bus topology. A bus topology is a type of network setup where each computer and network device is connected to a single cable or backbone. Star topology. A star topology is one where each of the devices and computers on a network connect to a central hub. A major disadvantage of this network topology is that if the central hub fails, all computers connected to that hub would be disconnected. Ring topology. The ring topology is a computer network configuration where each network computer and device is connected to each other forming a large circle. Each packet is sent around the ring until it reaches its final destination. Mesh Topology A network setup where each computer and network device is interconnected with one another, allowing for most transmissions to be distributed even if one of the connections go down. This topology is not commonly used for most computer networks as it is difficult and expensive to have redundant connection to every computer. Now let's see what a computer network is. A computer network is a collection of computers and devices connected to each other. 
The sender sends the request in the form of data packet, which is routed throughout the network. The network allows computers to communicate with each other and share resources and communication. The devices are connected with each other through wired and wireless connection. Then, the response of the request is routed back to the sender.